In this video, I'm going to introduce the discipline of economics. When we observe consumer behavior, we can notice some curious things. For example, in some areas, people looking to buy houses are willing to pay way more than the asking price. What's driving that? Similarly, over the past couple years, there have been periods of time where large retailers could not keep toilet paper in stock. They couldn't order enough to meet the consumer demand as people were panic buying toilet paper. Also lumber. Over the past year, we've seen the price of lumber skyrocket as people made decisions about what to spend money on and chose to renovate houses. What's going on with all those different things? Well, on some level, many of those different behaviors can be explained through economics. What exactly is economics? Well, it's the study of scarcity, trying to allocate scarce resources. More specifically, how firms and individuals make choices about allocating scarce resources. When we're, when we're looking at that, we need to be mindful of the role of incentives. People and firms face different sets of incentives at different times when they're trying to make decisions about scarce resources, how to spend their time or how to spend their money. One of those constraints might be information. The information you have available could steer your choices in one way or the other. For example, buying a used car, there is imperfect information. How much should you pay for a used car when you do not know the exact quality? You're not sure if it's going to break down in five minutes or if you'll be able to drive it for a few more years. Sometimes we have imperfect information and economics tries to study that. There's also trade-offs. If you do one thing with your time and your money, it means you can't do something else. And people have different priorities when they're trying to weigh trade-offs. Economics looks at all of these things, how people allocate scarce resources with constraints, such as imperfect information, resource constraints, such as money, and then trade-offs. When we think about economics, we might think of it as something like this, you know, terms like aggregate demand and shifting supply curves and weird looking equations like this. That's not really what economics is about. It's, it's, it's a much more simple discipline. We want to think about it at its basic level. It's firms and individuals weighing their options, costs and benefits. Should you do one thing or should you do another thing? At an individual level, should you go to a concert? It has some costs, financial costs, but it has benefits, feeling of inclusion and satisfaction and happiness. Trade-off might be sleep. You might be losing sleep. Sleep would be cheaper, might make more sense, but you'd be missing out on that pleasure. One of these options would make you feel really good in the short term, might make you a little tired in the morning. The other one might make you disappointed in the short term, but it might make you feel better in the long run. All of these types of decisions have trade-offs. There are costs and benefits, and that's what firms and individuals do all the time. Should also note that there are two subfields of economics. Microeconomics deals with firms and individuals. Should a firm hire more people or not? Should it open a new location or not? What price should it charge for certain items? Individuals similarly will make choices, consumer choices. Do I want to buy a Junior Whopper from Burger King or do I want to buy a Junior Bacon Cheeseburger from Wendy's? Macroeconomics deals with larger scale questions. It looks at the operation of entire economies or economic systems and markets and whether they work well at allocating goods and services or whether they don't and they produce things like externalities or whether there are systemic problems like inequality. Those are two main branches of economics. So just to recap, economics is the study of scarcity, how firms and individuals make choices with scarce resources. Those include time, they can include money. Ultimately, they can take information into account and consider the trade-offs. Economics is about scarcity, choice, and trade-offs. Again, two fields, microeconomics and macroeconomics, each look at these problems from different perspectives.